Yeah, so, uh, any questions? Can your boyfriend get ketamine, too? About the job? Oh, um, don't you have to wear a uniform? We make $2 an hour and the rest is in tips. I'm not wearing some ugly-ass uniform. Yeah, I guess we gotta look our best then. Besides, the manager likes it. I'm pretty sure he dates a different waitress every month anyway. Is that why he wanted a picture before hiring me? Yeah, it's basically the Playboy Mansion with more calories. More like the Playboy Motorhome, we're not getting paid shit. Oh, he actually gives a bonus if you wear open toe shoes. Fucking why? I don't know, he's five foot four in Turkish. You think he's gonna act normal? I guess it's worth the bonus. And your boyfriend's just okay with all this? Which one? The, uh, never mind. At least I'm not a whore. Why do you gotta work so much again? My dad's forcing me to help out with the bills until college. Dude, fuck your bitch ass dad. I know, right? Okay, well, I gotta refill this old guy's coffee before he starts telling me how service was better in the 60s. Jeffrey, please don't rape any women. They've had enough. Well, hey, I wouldn't want that to happen to any woman, provided she's not mean to people. Wow. What's wrong? Nothing fixable, so I gotta go now. Wait, but uh, could I talk about something with you? Talk about what? About us. Well, I need funny stories for Kelly's party this weekend, so sure. Okay. I just wanted to apologize and explain why things were so awkward between us in high school. Us or everyone you meet? But now that we're graduated, I guess it won't hurt to come clean with this. I've always sort of been a secret admirer of yours. Okay, well, hey, I gotta go to work now. No, no, I'm serious. I like your hair and your face and... Some other things too, but I don't want to be inappropriate. No, go ahead and tell me while I dial 911 for an unrelated reason. Well, if you want me to, I always like how your jeans fit your body, and I like that your feet are really small and cute. Did you say feet? Yeah, I just like to. Oh, open toed shoes! Are you wearing those for a special occasion? No, they're just for work. But yeah, I just love a cute pair of feet. So you don't like ass or titties or any of that? Just the feet? Well, primarily the feet. Oh, hey, Jekka, what's up? Please don't get near this. Oh, okay. So you ever step on anybody with those? With my feet? No. Oh, well, if you need $100, I could pay you to step on me. Step on you? Why would you pay for that? I don't know. I, I just like it. It feels good to me. Hundred dollar fucking Jeffrey, I'm gonna be late for work. What about two hundred? Two hundred to step on you? Well, provided your shoes are off, of course. We can do it in a family-sized restroom here in the mall. Fuck, that's like twice what I'm making at work today. Okay, fine, where do we do it? I think Old Navy's nearby. We could try the ladies section. Old Navy? Why there? Cause the two bitches who shop at Old Navy are either too ugly to be judgmental or no bitches at all. I think a private restroom in the mall might be better. Okay, let's do it in the bathroom at Crate and Barrel. Um, actually, if I could suggest the ladies' room at Starbucks. You just had that one ready. Yeah, I've done this a few times before at the mall with other girls, and the Starbucks restroom is pretty much a foot favorite. Why? Oh, lots of space, pretty quiet and secluded, and the tiles are really smooth and soft so they don't rough up those cute little feet of yours. And you're not going to murder me once we're in there? Of course not. I want to take care of your feet, not hurt them. But the rest of me is expendable. So yeah, come on, let's go to Starbucks. Are you going to buy me coffee first? I think there's more than enough room in the budget for that. And is that coming out of my payment, or is it coffee in addition to the 200 For you, coffee plus the 200 I want to make sure you're taken care of since you haven't done this before. Wow, I wish men I actually consider sexually told me that. Who knows? Foot services are a great way to start relationships. Jeffrey, I wouldn't even consider you for a friendship. But, but why? Don't take this the wrong way, but you look like you'd fuck your pets. I would never. Okay, don't worry about it. Am I gonna step on you or what? The most amazing words a woman can say. God damn it. It's somewhat ironic that your face and your feet are on opposite parts of your body when they're by far your cutest features. Is that supposed to turn me on? I don't get it. No, but maybe this will. I think you're prettier than most of my favorite anime crushes. Most of, as in there's still literal drawings that rank ahead of me. Come on, let's go to Starbucks and buy you that coffee.
The only circumstance where a white girl isn't happy to hear that. Mm, they feel like fleshy Play-Doh. Uh-huh. I like a girl that takes good care of her feet. Yours are so nice and soft. Oh, yeah? I just want to carry you everywhere so you never need to rough these up a day in your life. Kind of like I'm not a person? Yeah, cool. Also, would you mind if I complimented the rest of your body? Jeffrey, no. Okay, because from this angle, you look very sexually tall. What the fuck did I just tell you? I asked you if you'd mind, and you said no. No, I meant no, don't do that. Oh, sorry then. No apology will erase this trauma. I'll just resume snuggling my cheeks up to these cute little toes. It's only been like 90 seconds and I already want to kill myself. Kill yourself? But these size 6 feet are so cute! Size 7. Are you sure? They feel like a size 6. I think I'd be the expert here. Okay, you're right. Mm, mm, softer than cotton candy. Okay, time's up, Jeffrey. Just five more minutes before I exit the gates of heaven. You're gonna enter the gates of hell if you don't get the fuck off my feet. Are you done in there? We're busy! That was unsettlingly aggressive. Me and the community just want to enjoy feet and no one gets it. A community? Yeah, we all talk online. Just like-minded fellas who'd love feet like yours. You know, the internet also has like-minded fellas who molest kids. Is that okay too? What, what was that? I was just nuzzling my nose between these adorable toes. Never mind, that answered my question. But if you'd like any more work like this, I could post a recommendation on our online forum. What forum? Feetmeat.com. It had to rhyme. Never doing that again. God, I hope I'm not too late. Where the fuck were you? Customers! They're already upset because we can't keep up with the lunch rush! Sorry, yeah, I got my foot caught on a... Bitch, no one cares about your foot! Well, at least one person... Hey, uh... Cheka? Yeah, hey. So, um... Where do you want to go to step on me? Before we get to that, you got the money? Of course, 200 in cash, just like you said. All right, cool. Starbucks restroom? Uh, actually, I'd prefer the bathroom at Lens Crafters. Literally, why? Just super quaint. The floor is a pretty nice tactile stick when you lift your feet off it, too. Yeah, but I can't buy a drink at Lens Crafters, now can I? Oh, you're right, you're right. After you. So, yeah, this is just... Amazing timing for everything that's happened to me today. Why are you telling me like I care? Oh, sorry. A customer. But, so, what did your dad say to you? He was just teasing me for being some loser who can't meet girls. Oh yeah, dads can be really mean sometimes. I guess he's right though. Uh, no way, you're meeting a girl right now, aren't you? Yeah, but I need to pay for it. Kinda doesn't count. It totally counts. I mean, it counts to me, shit. Thanks. Never really looked at it like that. Totally. So... How'd you get into feet? Oh, well... It all started after I saw Kicking and Screaming with Will Ferrell. Really? Yeah, but that wasn't all of it. Just how it started. And how did it end here? After high school, all my friends moved away to college, so I didn't really have much else to do. Agreed. Having girls step on you sounds like literally the only option. Feeling your awesome size six feet really replaces the void, though. Size seven? Are you sure? They seem like a six. Oh, uh, um, maybe you're right. Yeah, I'm pretty experienced in this. Yeah, so you're always right. I just hope my next client's as experienced as you. Oh, thanks. Can I take you to buy shoes after this? Shoes for me? Sure. Yeah. And if I pay you an extra 20, can we hold hands while you look? In public? No. I guess Pizza Hut comes with free heart palpitations now. Dad, why did you eat both pizzas when I just wanted one slice of one of them? Oh, Jessica! Don't hit me! Oh, no, no, I just wanted to know your secret. What secret? I don't know what you're talking about. Secret for how you're doing so well at this job. What do you mean? You've been paying off the bills ahead of time. It's honestly astounding for an 18-year-old. 
Oh, yeah, I'm just working hard, Dad. Not just hard, but well, very well. Don't tell me, the three steps? I think I've done a little more than three. Above and beyond, great to hear it. You've done this house and my heart very proud. Your heart? Are you gonna molest me? <sighs> if I do a heart, I'm gonna need the pink Sharpie. I'll just go back and get the 48 pack. Can you afford that? Bitch, yeah, I can afford that. What is this anime place paying you? What anime place? The one you work at? Oh yeah, right. Um, they pay me okay. Are you blowing your manager? No. Then who's your sugar daddy? Because there's no way some shitty retail job is paying this much. It's just, I'm just good with my money. Hold on, I got a text. You gotta be fucking the ugliest rich guy in the universe if you can't even tell me. Shut up, hold on. Is it the Asian guy from American Idol? Can you take a walk or something? How about I take oh. your phone, bitch? Uh, what the fuck? Give it back! Who's foot loser one? Nobody. Can I pay extra for pink toenail polish? $100. Why are you so defensive over a pedicure? Wait, how do you charge them $100? Okay, so it's complicated. Are you a foot model? Jekka, you know what the nanny said about foot models. The nanny? Yeah, the nanny with Fran dress shirt. No, Nicole, I'm not a foot model. Scroll up. Could you do a house call to step on me? I'm really lonely and mom can't drive me. 50 extra. What is this? Uh, guys pay me money to take my shoes off and step on them. Why? I don't know. Are they like grapes? You gotta turn them into wine? No, they like it because they're submissive or whatever. Uh, okay, so because they're sub... that... They give you hundreds of dollars to just put your feet on them? Basically. You don't have to take your clothes off, suck dick, anything? Not so far. Dude. That sounds awesome. Let me go with you. For real? Money for some loser to just feel my feet? Hell yeah. Like, you actually want to go do one with me? Yeah, you're doing it tonight, right? Let me plus one. Just for free? Fuck no, I want that foot money too. Yeah, but... Sharpies. Bitch, don't be greedy, come on. Hey, fine, just don't fuck it up for me. No, totally. I won't fuck it down or left either. Don't worry. What about right? I always fuck it right. Cool. So we gotta be there before 8 p.m., so let's just check out and head straight there. Wait, but there's no, like, directions or anything? I got GPS in my car. No, I mean directions for stepping on people. Oh, I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. They just press their face against your feet. Do they beat off while you're there? No, that's way extra. Like, a thousand dollars extra. A thousand bucks? You could have actual sex with a hoe for less than a thousand. Nicole, we are thin, white, and pretty. Everything we do comes with a premium. And we ain't talking saltines. But yeah, the guy we're gonna see is just Jeffrey. Ew, why would you let him whore your feet out? Find someone cuter. That's not how it works. If they pee enough, you just do it. It's not like dating where you can be picky. I guess if we're going together, it's not so bad. We can make fun of him and stuff. No, you can't really do that either, because then he won't want to hire me again. Yeah, I guess feet fucking comes with a lot of insecurity. It's not feet fucking. You just play footsie with his face. Man, my therapist is going to have a field day with this. Oh, and you're going to want to take a few of these. Is that Xanax? Yeah, I need it for like every client or my feet are shaking. I just told the doctor I'm afraid of heights and he wrote me a whole bottle. I got name brand from the pharmacist too. Is name brand really good? It's not just good. It's on its best behavior. Oh, you girls spoil me so good. I knew things would get better after high school. Jeffrey, just focus on feet, not the society around them, okay? Yes, ma'am. Mm. Ew, I can feel his mouth vibrate. Shh. Every woman on his wall is a cartoon. Yeah, he pays us to do this. What'd you expect? I can't decide whose feet are more cute. Oh, uh, thanks. Yeah, it's not like they're essential for human function or anything. Every part of a woman is just for your entertainment. Nicole! Oh, did I say something wrong? Nothing you'll ever correct in your lifetime. Don't worry about it. Yeah, we're judgment-free girls. Enjoy those feet, Piggy. Nicole! What? I think he likes it. Oh, I'm mommy's Piggy. Oh, gross. His standards are so low, he thinks any interaction from a girl is affection. You like that, you video game shirt-wearing loser? I love it. She just wants you to be better, Jeffrey. Don't worry. Yeah, as in you better not think we're equal, bitch. I know. You two will always be my first priority. Uh-huh. Because what's the point in actually dating girls? You're just going to come crawling back to anime women and feet.
You're right. And you'll tell everyone in the world that relationships are overrated. But the truth is, you're just a lonely little foot loser. Uh, uh, but in a good way. In a cartoon woman on your walls guarantee you'll die alone way. Mm, good thing I got you guys. And if you want to keep us, you're going to take us to Olive Garden and pay for everything. Oh, sweet. Like a date? Fuck no. We're going to sit at our own table and you're going to pay for our meal while you sit alone at the bar. Understand? Why would I do that? Because you're a little board game enthusiast bitch who knows you'll never have sex with us, so spending money on us is the next best thing. Well, that sounds so comforting when you say it. Like you know my place in the world. Mm-hmm. And that place is right under our feet like a bug. A little pornographic Japanese video game playing bug. They have porn video games? But my mom's gonna get mad at me for spending so much of my money in one day. I mean, you don't have to care what she thinks. Yeah, who would you rather fuck, us or your mom? Mmm, tough choice. Why is that a tough choice? Feetmeat.com is a mommy play board and... Ugh. She said your mom. Hey, your mom, my mom, we're all mom. Let's get some Olive Garden. Okay, just five more minutes with your feet, mommy. Oh, now he's calling us that. Why'd we come here on a Friday evening? Yeah, it's packed with families thinking you need to dress up to go here. A 20 minute wait, unbelievable. Yeah, and it was 25 before we flirted with the host. Like our affection combined is only worth five minutes? Yeah, I think you guys are way cuter and nicer than five minutes. Jeffrey, don't while we're in public with you. I swear to God, unlimited soup and salad is not worth this hassle. What about the breadsticks? Fuck the breadsticks. They don't even crunch when you bite into them. Yeah, just another chain restaurant bested by the Red Lobster Cheesy Biscuits. You might go there instead? Maybe, but first I just want to stick it to Olive Garden. Yeah, I feel that. I'm going to break one of their windows. But you're going to get caught on their cameras. Yeah, you're right. Jeffrey, could you break one of their windows for us? But... But I might get in trouble. Oh, come on, Jeffrey. Yeah, Jeffrey. Don't you want to make us happy? I... Yeah. So you go ahead and make me happy. Make mommy happy. Oh, yes, mommy. Is he really gonna... Oh, my God. Uh, Okay, was... Was that good? Aw, that was so good. It was pretty cool. I didn't think he'd actually do it. I guess we gotta go to Red Lobster now. Is there anything else I can do for you? Hmm, well, there's a couple things I wanted to steal at the mall lately. You're gonna steal? No, you're gonna steal. For mommy, right? Nicole, you're gonna get us arrested. Don't worry, worst case scenario, he gets arrested. Do you want me to steal anything for you, Jekka? Oh, no, that's okay. I just remembered I left a DiGiorno in the oven for the last three hours, so I gotta take care of that. Oh, no, mommy's DiGiorno. Forget her. Come on, let's go to the mall. What store are we going to first? I'm feeling Walgreens, actually. I needed to steal a whole lot of cough medicine. Oh, no. Are you sick? No, you're sick. I need you to take all the medicine you steal. Entire bottle. But I don't have a cough or anything. Why do you want me to take so much? Because Mommy's bored and wants to see what DXM will do to you. So you gonna entertain Mommy? You're right. Let's go. And after that, we're going to Hot Topic to see how many t-shirts scare you. Jessica? Don't hit me, what? What's this unpaid power bill notice? We made the power your responsibility, remember? I know, it was just something changed at work that messed with my income a little. What kind of change? Well, Nicole, I I mean, my hours got split with some bitch who listens to Evanescence. But you're still out for the same amount of time. Oh, that's because I'm just looking for a new job. I gotta stay proactive. Great initiative, dear. Unlike your waste of human flesh, mother. Uh, yeah. But, so, how's the day-to-day of your diner job? I'm sure you're up to your knees in hungry customers. Usually just the toes, sometimes ankles. And do they tip well? Yeah, but not always in money. One time a guy gave me a pair of shoes. I didn't know people would tip like that. Just don't let him get away with that next time. Cash only. Yeah, cash. Smaller footprint, too. You know the saying, give them an inch and they take a mile. Or a foot. The restaurant business can be so tricky. Just stay on your toes. Oh, I have been. Still glad to hear you're applying other places. Just gotta get that foot in the door in the right business. Totally. My foot's been in a lot of places. Just don't spread yourself too thin, though. Quantity can be the Achilles heel of quality. They usually call it mommy's heel. What was that? Oh, nothing. I was just thinking about the penguins and happy feet. 
Some things never change. You always spaced out as a little girl. Yeah, I'm kind of a free thinker. But now that you're an adult, you're going to have to get your act together before I kick your fucking teeth in! Dad, no. No, nothing, bitch! Keep screwing around and I'll shove my fucking foot down your throat! For how much? Oh, now if you'll excuse me, the love gurus on HBO. Who's Bartles and James, anyway? Probably white guys who want us to respect the flag. My least favorite white guys are patriotic with an unexpected cross of forced quirkiness. Quirky how? Like, shit like proposing with a ring pop and thinking it's funny. Oh, I saw that on YouTube once. Yeah, what are you, Willy Wonka? Marriage proposal's like the one time in any boring man's life where he attempts a shred of creativity. Yeah, I was proposed to once. No way, who? Cormac. Krusty Cormac? Yeah, he went insane when I stepped on him last week. It was a diamond toe ring. What the fuck? Okay, I'm exaggerating. It was quartz. No, last time we saw Cormac was three weeks ago. Are you seeing these guys without me? What's wrong with that? Because he hasn't called me in three weeks. I'm losing money. You're watering down the market. What, am I supposed to turn down free money? You're supposed to include me because I got you into this in the first place. Wow, you helped me be a foot whore. I should be so grateful. It was fine when you did it with Jeffrey, but now it's screwing my money up. Oh, speaking of Jeffrey, he's like really fun. Fun how? I got him to suck off a homeless guy. <laughs> okay, yeah, all right. No, I'm not joking. It's his mommy thing. He'll do whatever I tell him to. Who, what, where, when, and why the fuck did you do that? We were walking out of the mall and some homeless dude asked for change and I was just like, oh, we got something better than change. So I told Jeffrey I'd kill myself if he didn't do it. Then he did it and the homeless guy got $10, so it's all good. He got, uh, Jeffrey paid $10 to suck his dick? Yeah, it was pretty funny. I'm like glad and not glad I missed that at the same time. But what if Jeffrey got AIDS doing that? Well, he's locked in his room playing Spyro all day, not spreading it anytime soon. Is that why you're getting four Captain Morgans? To drink the guilt away? No, I'm going to a party tonight. I would never feel guilty over anything bad happening to Jeffrey. Like, genuinely a terrible human being. He's not that bad. He told me he fantasizes about a world where women are milked like cows and mandated to have sex with any guy who wants them. Oh, that's really bad. So I literally don't care what happens to him. Now let's buy this Captain Morgan and get the hell out. When'd you get your fake ID? What fake ID? We picked out all the shit and you don't even have a fake ID. I don't need one as the Pakistani guy working today. He loves the white girls. Yeah, let's flirt. Oh man, these Feet Meat reviews weren't lying. Reviews? Yeah, there's a scoring system for every girl's feet on the forums. You got a solid 9.6 out of 10. H how do you score feet? Oh, like calluses, toe length, it's just a lot of science. Pretty important stuff. You're about top 20 on the whole site. Uh, who's number one? Anna Kornikova. Oh. Guess that Case West deal didn't work out. But number three is someone totally new to the scene. Practically came out of nowhere. Uh, that's nice. I think her name's Nicole. What? Yeah, real special girl, I'll tell you. They gave her a 9.89 out of 10. But she just started. I know she ranks higher than you. And honestly, your feet alone are way nicer. Though, it's not always about the feet. But the girl connected to them. Like we're objects, great. Can you uh, stand on my face now? Yeah, sure. I gotta make a phone call anyway. Your call has been forwarded. Damn, that party must be wild. But if she's there, that means the other foot money should be available. Konnichiwa, this is Jeffrey's son. If this is any manga, a director. Jeffrey's never out doing anything. Why is his phone off? Unless... I know my phone's off and I'm getting stepped on. Kind of rude to leave it on. Might have to leave a bad review. Fuck off, foot bitch! I gotta go check something. Uh, I feel so cold without the fee. This is such a fun party, right? Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. What the hell? You don't like partying with mommy? No, I do. I just feel a little weird. Weird how? Like how you make girls feel weird? No, just woozy. You probably just haven't hit the vibe yet. Here, take another sip of mommy's Captain Morgan. Another drink? 
but you already made me take three Ambien. Yeah, because you looked super sick and you needed to take some medicine. Come on, I just drank from the bottle. It's like you're kissing mommy. Well, I never kissed a girl before, so... That's it. Drink up. Ah, uh, burns my throat. Uh-uh. Drink a little more. The burn means you love me, okay? Okay, mommy. That's a good boy. <laughs> now what? I don't know. You still look kind of under the weather, so... I already told you. I'm fine. Don't you ever fucking talk back to me. Do you want mommy to go home? No. God, you'll be a virgin forever at this rate. But wait, do, do you mean that, that you'd... Oh, uh, only if you take your medicine. You want mommy to have sex with you, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, what medicine? Mommy needs you to take some Xanax, okay? Z Xanax? Is that good? It's not just good. It's on its best behavior. I can hear a playlist blasting from here. What the hell is she doing with him? Hope I'm not too late. God, that Chick-fil-A drive through took so long. God, this party sucks. Is Robin Big still on TV? What are you- Oh my god! How'd you know I was here? Why is he on the floor?! He just passed out. For fucking what?! I, I don't know, I got bored. He just took anything I gave him. He's not even breathing! Yeah, rum and Ambien will do that. You had him drink rum with Ambien?! Nah, he had Xanax too. Were you trying to fucking kill him?! I was trying to have a good time. You gotta mellow out. Nicole, look at... Uh, he's not... I can't believe you. What, you suddenly like him now? He was... He was what? He was my best client, Nicole! If he's actually dead, that's $800 a month just gone! I thought I was a sociopath. How long has he been like this? I don't know, like 20 minutes? I'm calling 911. They might be able to still save him. Are you fucking crazy? Are you? If you call 911, paramedics are going to show up. If paramedics show up, they're going to ask how this happened. If they ask how this happened, I'm going to have to lie. Then they'll resuscitate Jeffrey, who's going to have a totally different story. Okay, well, let's worry about that later. He's going to die if we just stand here. I'm going to go to jail if he doesn't die. So you want to just stand here while his body fucking rots away? Yeah, because then we can say we found him like this, so we don't go to jail when Jeffrey wakes up to say otherwise. What do you mean, we? You did this! With your Xanax prescription, so it's gonna look like we both did it. Are you serious? So if I'm going down for some future pedophile who wants to literally fuck his mom, you're going with me! No, but I gave you that for... Close your phone. But... 800 a month. Close your phone before I fucking break it. <laughs> what would you do? No, actually, what the fuck would you do? Do you just usually stand over dying bodies where it's either you or them? The weirdest part was that it didn't feel that weird. Like I'd been there a million times before. You ever go to a party where someone ODs and you immediately learn every kid's economic background? The rich kids want to call 911 and the hood kids scream for them to stop. The hood kids' parents don't have money for lawyers, so they're the only ones that worry if the police show up. They'd rather watch someone die than risk going to jail for a drug charge. It seems crazy when you're from the other side of town, but on their side, it's just doing what you gotta do. At first, I thought what Nicole did was fucked up, like she seriously used me. But when I look at where I'm at now, and where I was, does the end justify the means? After that night, I never took another client again. I was meeting strangers on the internet and renting my body out. Yeah, Jeffrey died, but how soon was it gonna be before I fucking died? In a weird emo Lizzie McGuire miracle twist? Nicole killing Jeffrey basically saved my life. Was that her intention? Fuck no. But as much as people hate her, she's kind of necessary. Don't act like you're not glad he's dead. Nicole, I, like, really need the money, because, like, my dad and everything. So what? 
So I can't let you go with me? Just give me like 20%. I need that 20%. You're so lame. When we were in high school, you would have totally done it with me. Yeah, but in high school, my parents weren't divorced and making me do shit. I gotta pay for internet, clothes, power, the food network. Gay, whatever. What's gay? You. Nicole, you didn't even know this existed five minutes ago. No, you're right. Have fun stepping on some loser while he jacks off to you. It's not like that, Nicole. Then what the fuck is it like? They know it's weird and everything, but they can't help it. They just like it. And they give me a lot of money to do it, so that's what I like about it. When has a man ever liked anything that weird without some sexual gratification? I'm sure there's some guys. There's none. Cause no guy on planet Earth is gonna pay for physical contact with a pretty girl without beating his shit raw as soon as she walks out the door. I can't control what they do after. Even if they do, like, what's it matter? Wow, you don't even care anymore. That money must be good. I should get into this on my own. Care about fucking what anymore? Care about being a whore. No. Yeah, cause last I checked, selling your body so a guy can get off makes you a trashy, half-finished, tattoo-sleeved, dimple-pierced fucking whore. Well, so what? Do whatever you want, just a word. How about you show some respect, Nicole? Because I'm not a whore. I'm a sex worker. I don't throw that government shit at me. I can use my body however I want. If that makes me a sex worker, then I don't care. Bitch, you need to have sex to be a sex worker. Then what am I? You're a human petting zoo. Uh, Whatever. I don't need to take this. I'm going to work. What about your Kmart card? My job you have zero respect for could pay for all of this at a way fancier place. I'm going to Kohl's. Mm, I love these supple feet. You picked out really pretty nail polish today. Oh, uh, thanks. Girls' feet always feel good, but it's even better when they're as pretty as yours. Wow, yeah, cool. Do you lactate? Do I what? You know, lactate. Where milk comes out of your beautiful breasts? Um, definitely not. I'm pretty sure you have to, like, have a baby to do that. Oh, you're right. Well, I hope you can be impregnated by an alpha male of your choosing. Jeffrey, don't say that to girls. Not even ugly ones. Sorry, I know. It's just you make such a cute mommy. Hey, hey, kissing's extra. How much extra? 250. Oh, maybe next week then. You're such a fucking... Yeah, next week. Um, could you put one of your socks back on? I thought you guys liked bare feet. We do, but sometimes a socked foot can be as cute as a bare foot. Socks is extra. I thought bare feet were extra. Anything that inconveniences me is extra. Oh, all right. You were my first kiss, by the way. I've literally never kissed you and never will. For under $10,000. No, I meant just now. With your feet. Oh, yeah. That's pretty fucking sad. Could I tell you something really personal? Well, you kiss my feet and want to suck milk out of my titties. Not sure how much more personal we could get here. I... I'm in love with you. I know. It's really hard, but I try my best to avoid thinking about you while I use my hand. I'm disappointed, but not surprised. Is that extra, too? Is what extra? thinking about you while I enjoy myself. Uh, How would I even enforce that? The honor system. I swear I won't do it without paying you after. Seriously? How's 50 bucks a load sound? It's a little steep, but you're more than worth it. Cool, yeah, just PayPal me. I got the text updates on my phone. Of course. You deserve it. You deserve every boy's money, Mommy. Now let me dig into these feet some more. Just make sure you keep that job at the bookstore. I just want to watch wheelchair crash videos and fall asleep. Hey! Hey! What the fuck?! Wait, no! Uh, Jekka, right? Yeah, what are you doing here? Uh, I I know this might be an odd time, but were you the same Jekka on the forums? Forums what? Yeah, the forums. Fucking what forums? Feetmeet.com! Wait, so... You're still doing the foot services, right? How'd you get my address? Well, your number was in the listing. I just used the internet to trace it back here. Oh, God. 
But yeah, how much to kiss your toes? 200, like the stepping? Are you actually crazy? Oh, sorry, was that a low ball? No, you're in front of my house at midnight and 200's way too low. Ah, it was worth a shot. Get the fuck out of here before I call the cops. Oh, uh, okay, okay, fine. 300. What? No, leave! Okay, 400. 400 to kiss your toes? I'm not haggling, just go home! Okay, screw it. 800, final offer. Eight? No! For how long? Half hour. 20 minutes. Okay, fine. Can we do it inside your house? Fuck no, where's your car? Oh, it's that Chevy Caprice over there. LTZ. Whatever the hell that means, let's go. Wait, can I throw in an extra hundred for you to roleplay? Roleplay what? Remember the girl in the 1984 Apple commercial that throws the hammer through the screen? Uh, maybe it was on Family Guy once? Can you be her? How would you work that into what we are doing? Oh, you know, like I'm thanking you for throwing the hammer. Is that weird? What do you think? Different. Think different. You remember that? Were you alive for that? If I said no, would you feel like a pedophile or keep going through with this? Let's, uh, let's get in the LTZ. Yeah, I'm surprised you called. I thought you'd only hang out with Nicole after we graduated. Uh, it's complicated. Complicated how? Like the Avril Lavigne song. So you were dating? No, like the song's called, uh, whatever. Is this technically dating? I don't know. What's the difference between dating and hanging out? Like, uh, like kissing? Do you want to kiss me? Absolutely fucking kinda. Tell me I'm pretty first. You're pretty. What's pretty about me? Um, how you're never able to wash your body glitter all the way off. Okay, slut, kiss me. Why'd you take a picture of us with your phone? I'm gonna send this to guys I like. Oh... So, I heard you got fired from the Chrome Diner. Yeah, but it's cool. My new job's way better. Where do you work now? Oh, uh... Foot Locker? Really? I work at Finish Line. How's Foot Locker, though? Shit, um, the customers just love shoes and socks and... feet. Yeah, Finish Line's easier to work at because customers don't come in. I'm pretty sure my customers come after. Come after... What? Uh, oh, like, come after the new Jordans drop? Yeah, that's the only time my store is busy. Do they get really mean at you on release days? Uh, well... No, they're kind of always in love with me. In love with you? Oh, I just met they're really nice to me, but it gets creepy sometimes. Could be worse. All my coworkers are like homophobic, Christian, whatever. Is Foot Locker like that too? Wouldn't surprise me. You too? Oh my god, we should quit. You can quit. I kind of need this money though. Should gay people really put up with this just for the money? I'm not the right person to ask. Why not? Because Ari, you're like actually gay. I'm attention-seeking gay at best. Is it really that different? Well, if they're homophobic at my job, I'll live. If they're homophobic at yours, you have to pretend 24-7, so you tell me. You're saying you don't think about killing yourself every day? I only think about killing myself when Chipotle gets my order wrong. They make it in front of you. How do they get it wrong? Oh my god, exactly! Okay, what'll get the stench of Thousand Island and blood off my feet? Which of these are gonna make it burn? Should I want it to burn? Oh, hey. Oh shit! What? The fuck's the matter with you? You just realize Obama's black? Wow, that was racist. No, it's just, uh, work. I have like a hard trigger response when men talk to me now. What are you, a stripper? No. Oh, at least you got that going for you. What's that supposed to mean? At least you're not a whore. Do you not like whores? Can't afford them after you blew your money on muscle milk and carry heart tickets? Dude, I only saw them at like three motocross tours, and I don't pay for bitches, I'm above that. Oh, Mr. Morality? More moral than you, you fucking dime store dipshit. Is that why you fuck girls while they're unconscious? You're a regular Mr. Rogers. What are you even talking about? What everyone else at school is talking about? Bro, you are going full fucking tits-a-phrenic right now. Sorry if I think paying for pussies better than stealing it. Is this a wall of PMS? What are you even trying to say. I'm saying you look, sound, and spend your money like a rapist. What's with all these false accusations? Go away. They're not false. They're accusations on layaway. Oh, whatever. I'm gonna go beat up a deaf person. I need some help. So what brings you to community youth counseling? 
Honestly, what hasn't brought me here? Well, we need to start somewhere. Actually, how much does this cost? Nothing at all. It's covered by the county. Oh, okay. And if I need a hug, are hugs extra? Extra what? As in charging for a hug? No. Oh, right, yeah. Okay, let's start. So, how's everything going at home? Um, uh, my parents got divorced like a month ago. Divorce can be very hard. Well, no, I'm white. I'll get over it. But it's just my dad, mainly. Is he taking it really hard? He's taking it out on me. I get threatened every day of my life. Threatened how, exactly? If you don't mind sharing. He said he'll smack the pretty off my face and sell me to Borneo for a sack of rice. Oh, that's a very 70s threat. Yeah, and so I need to help out with the bills or he's gonna get mad and have a heart attack from some chronic heart thing he's got. I see. Anything else with him? Other concerns? He always wants to fuck my friends. He what? Well, I'm basically kind of gorgeous, so naturally my friends would be too. But he's not related to them, so it's a green light in his mind. But your father doesn't want with you, right? No, no, my dad doesn't want to fuck me. He doesn't even like hugging me, so silver lining. Right. So then it seems the issues at home are stemming mainly from the bills? Yeah, I guess you could say that. Have you taken any steps toward a job? Had a job? Right. So first I got a job at the diner. My friend put in a good word for me. That's good. Anything else about this friend? Uh, I guess she's not actually, actually my friend. She's super fucked up on drugs, but she's cool though. And are you on drugs at all? <laughs> are we on the floor? No, I take it the diner didn't work out? What was next? Yeah, so it didn't work out because I was discovering my new job, which made me late for the first job. Do you like your new job? Um, I like the pay. And what is it? Like, what do I do for it? Uh-huh. And you can't tell anybody about what I do, right? It's sanctioned therapy. Everything here is confidential. So what do you do for this job? Uh, I let guys touch my feet for money. Excuse me? N no, it's like... They give me a lot of money to stand on them and kiss my toes and be nice when I talk to them. Uh, all right. At first they only did it a little, but then they just kept coming and coming and coming, not on me, but to me. Like, one guy just gives me $50 every time he jerks off to me, and they all have my number and know where I live and just keep offering me more and more money to where I can't say no! Why can't you say no? Because the money was so good, I got used to spending, and all the bills my dad needs me to pay, and if I don't make enough money, it's gonna stress him out, and the stress will give him a heart attack and die! If he dies, I won't afford the mortgage and I'm gonna end up living on the street withdrawing from Adderall while losers suck at my toes! <laughs> I can see why it'd be hard to talk about this with someone. Nobody wants me for me! Not even my best friend wants me because I'm a funnel! This certainly seems like a lot. How much are these men paying you to make it so necessary to stay? It starts at like $200. No, I meant for a regular job to not be an option, what's the monthly income? Oh, probably like, like six or seven thousand a month. What? Is that bad? That's twice what I get paid. Why'd you come to free counseling? Because I didn't know where else to turn. Oh, shut the fuck up. You can afford to pay it. This session is over. 80,000 a year. Unbelievable. But, but... He makes me pay for the Food Network! I want an eating disorder to die hotter. Ryan's gonna be in town. I guess that's cool. Fuck it, who cares anymore? Hey, hey, wait! Uh, what the fuck? Hey, Jekka. Could you come with me to the Caribou Coffee ladies room? Kyle, go the fuck home! It's 11 at night! Oh, yeah. I guess Adult Swim just started. You want to let me inside to watch adults swim with you? Sorry, I have better things to do than watching snarky text play over hip-hop for white guys. Oh, great. You're still out here. Nice shoes, by the way. Mr. Burladay, you know about Jekka, too? Any dedicated feet meter knows Jekka. 
So, uh, you remember the wife in the Sears air conditioning commercial? No! Hey, don't upset her like that! Oh, no, no, I, I didn't mean any offense by it. Just read the room better next time. What fucking room? We're outside. It's now or never. What? Hey, I heard great things about you. How much to step on me? Is it still 200? Fuck off! Go away! Show some respect, creep. At least offer 250. Oh, hey, Jekka. Glad I found you out here. What could you possibly want? Actually, don't tell me. I forgot the password to my PayPal account, so I came to hand deliver the money in cash for our remote arrangement. Came to hand. Wait, there's 200 here. I thought it was 50 a pop. Yeah, um, I did it four times today. Miss Teen USA was on, and Miss Washington looked a lot like you. But you're still prettier, don't worry. Remote arrangement? Oh, see, whenever I relieve myself thinking about Jekka, I have to pay her $50. Really? I didn't know we had to do that. I'm sorry. I am too now. Well, let me go to the ATM and get you $1,400. Uh, all right. So, two fifty then? I was here first! Three hundred! I hid in the bushes first! I was in love with her first! Oh, fuck! Just go away! Oh, look what you did to her. Okay, I gotta call the police for real this time. Wait, shit, my phone's dead. Where's the cordless? Dad? No. Did he see the crowd outside? They gave him a heart attack. Dad! Dad, it's gonna be okay! Oh. I'm coming in. Don't freak out. Uh. Dad, are you... Wait. Nicole? Oh, no. She caught us. Why the fuck are your toes in his mouth? Don't act like you don't know. Sweetheart, I, I can explain. Shut your flavored seltzer ass up and feel those feet. Oh, God. Nicole, with my dad, what the fuck is wrong with you? I'm just a broke bitch with no limits. I'm gonna fucking... Ugh. What? I needed the money. Wasn't that your excuse? I'm so fucking done with this. <laughs> Is this perspective? Remember when you were like 12 and watching some shitty Law & Order ripoff show? There was always an episode where the cops interview a hooker from the scene of the crime and she was like this bad neighborhood ornament. Like had no story beyond, yeah, I was sucking dick and heard a gunshot, and then you barely think about her. You watch it like, that's just supposed to be this stupid horror character, like that's her thing. It doesn't even come into your mind, you just passively think, oh, I'll never be her. But then you grow up to be gorgeous, get handouts for it, your parents get divorced, your friends move away, you need drugs and money and money for drugs and... Are these excuses or justifications? You tell me. I told myself I was a sex worker. Not lazy, pathetic, desperate, a sex worker. Sex worker felt a lot better than whore that it didn't change the reality. Reality is, I was just another stupid whore. I was a dumb, stupid, fucking foot whore. So laugh all you want. Forget about me all you want. But at least I'll be gorgeous forever. <laughs>